Hi guys, it is February 27, 2019. I'm going to start this video recommending two channels, but I'm going to get into what is happening with our weather. Intense winds, flooding, uh, Northern California, they have been holding a storm in place for quite a while now. Um, so I'm not surprised to see that you are getting flooding and I will show you uh, the captures that I have taken of sites that, well, there's the storm, oh, there's the storm again, oh, there's the storm, hasn't moved, uh, and all of the extremely low frequencies that are, well, it's been now about 24 hours and they're emitted in Southern California, very intense, but one Pacific Redwood here you will learn how man is controlling high and low pressure systems. Here, satellite generated blockade pushes tropical moisture flow south. Um, and Mike Morales, who is on it, weather warfare, which we are living right now as I speak. So, winds. Wow. Okay, what is this? This is a communication tower in Maine, Sugarloaf Mountain. Okay, um, what kind of wind would literally bend in half a huge cell tower? Well, it could be scalar technology that's creating those winds, but this is a hundred, 120 foot communication tower on the summit of Sugarloaf Mountain. It folded in half during high winds on Monday. These winds were more than 100 miles per hour. And in New Hampshire, uh, Mount Washington, the tallest mountain in the eastern United States, had wind gusts of 171 miles per hour. That is isn't that cur uh, category five hurricane winds? All right, what? <laughs> where are these winds coming from? They could very well be generated by man. But this tower hosts several cell phone carriers as well as other third party communication services, including US Homeland Security. So I want to thank my subscriber for sending this along to me. That, okay. Well, that wind literally bent all that metal right smack in half here. Top of the tower comes right down. All right. Well, I do want to point out that if you go to my channel and you put in the search bar on my channel, Scalar, you will come up with videos, laser frequency beams seen on radar and Scalar weather modification explained. Here I have reposted an interview with retired Lieutenant Colonel Tom Bearden. Scalar technology being used to control weather, um, scalar weapons, uh, scalar electromagnetic weapons, scalar beam weapons in the hands of the most evil, and scalar wave technology. Um, and in these videos, I go through some of the application of scalar technology. One of those applications is to create intense winds. But here, Mysterious Booms explained uh, evil uses of scalar technology and scalar weapons used against the United States and the American people. Okay, so California. Wow, all right. Um, you're getting dumped with an awful lot of rain and snow, another mudslide, traps a woman in Monterio as thousands ordered to evacuate. Wow, you guys, these evacuations. Oh, widespread flooding expected along the Russian River in Sonoma County. Authorities ordered evacuations for 25 communities where flooding is expected to be the worst. The order affects thousands of residents and officials went door to door Tuesday to alert 
as many people as they could about the need to leave their homes. And I'll get to where, oops, your evacuation route, mudslide, uh, you now have to go in the direction of the river. Yeah, quite a lot of rain in, in areas where it's either fire or now it's flooding. River crests at more, if the river crests at more than 45 feet, as expected, many homes and businesses in the town located north of San Francisco would be flooded. Sonoma County received more than a foot of rain by Tuesday afternoon. Sonoma County, uh, a sheriff sergeant said, we're bringing our boats out here and we're letting the public know to take this one seriously. This was um, posted, I think, two hours ago. So expect, expect, I mean, you, you can't not expect massive flooding in Sonoma County. So this large mudslide was reported in the town of Monterio. The mudslide trapped a woman and closed both lanes of Bohemian, Bohemian Highway, cutting off the main southward route out of the town as residents attempted to evacuate due to the Russian River flooding. So instead, they now are having to evacuate using Highway 116, which runs along the river instead of away from it. You guys who live in this area, do you have more information? If you do, could you leave it in the comments section? Between the mudslide and a separate report of flooding, the Bohemian Highway is expected to be closed for weeks. Um, this guy was trapped in, uh, well, a mudslide along the Russian River outside of Monterio. So that's where you have to now evacuate. All right. This is the time to locate your emergency kits and review your evacuation plans with your family. That comes from a Sonoma County, the chairman of the Board of Supervisors. In the Sahara, Nevada, heavy snow crippled travel in some areas on Tuesday, including along Interstate 80. Uh, much of the interstate was closed along that 75, 75 mile stretch of roadway Tuesday today. Well, yesterday now, but more than 20,000 homes and businesses also were in the dark due to power outages. Northeast, you guys expect bitter cold again. Winter storms for early March. All of this is being generated by man. Uh, wind cuts power to hundreds of thousands of people from the Midwest to the Northeast. I will link below to all of these articles. So if you want to hear, you know, read more information, just click on the link. At least a dozen people injured in massive pileups. Ontario, Canada. Um, upwards of 70 vehicles were involved and at least a dozen people injured. So, you know, you look at the snow and it does not look like, you know, you had inches, okay? You have inches. What is going on with the snow that makes it so slippery? Well, the aerosol spraying. All right. To a new round of storms that are moving in on the heels of those powerful winds ripping through the Midwest and the Northeast, knocking down this wall in Indiana, this building, and knocking down trees and power lines as well. More than a half a. I want to bring your attention to what you see right here. Where are the roots to that tree? 
I will be posting a video tomorrow. Um, and it will include the geoengineering, the massive dumps of toxic chemicals and heavy metals go into the soil and it's effectively killing the root system of trees. Hence the reason why you see trees toppling all over the place. So, you know, look, what is, what's happening in our sky is very obvious. So for the majority of the American people, and I know that this is taking place in all of your countries, that they still are ignoring what is taking place. Well, unfortunately, that means we're going to see more and more and more damage. And yeah, uh, a lot of people suffering the consequences as well as trees. A million customers are still without power this morning, and Ginger has the latest. Good morning, Ginger. Uh, good morning to you, Michael. It has been so windy the last couple of days, gusts somewhere between 50 and 70 miles per hour. You see that tree? Yeah, you see that tree? Where are the roots? In Pennsylvania, it's near Pittsburgh, just going down. So we've been so saturated, too. It's easy to take down those trees. In Queens, New York, the trees on homes in the middle of the street. Now our winds are relaxing a bit, but that is not the case out on the West Coast. These pictures out of Oregon, near Bend, two to three feet, shutting down highways, making it impossible to drive. And it's all because of this, that atmospheric river focused right on Northern California, especially the San Francisco Bay Area and the northern part up through the state line of Oregon. That's where you're going to see mudslide possibilities the next couple of days and up to about five feet of snow or more in the sierra wow all right must be global warming i will link below to this map which will give you information about flooding water level is one foot above flood stage willow brook at pengrove park River is expected to reach flood level Tuesday afternoon, and that's at Napa River. Road rescues. A car got stuck in flooded water at Granton Road and Railroad Street. And you should for you guys who live in this area, check this. Check this map out. Kansas projected to see higher frequency of tornadoes and severe storms in 2019. They can't get the weather right when it's that day. So you're driving along and you hear the weather report on the radio and they say it's sunny and you have a thick coating of cloud with no sun. How often do these uh, mainstream media meteorologists get wrong the weather, but somehow they're able to project a, a, a higher frequency of tornadoes. How is that possible? It's possible when man is creating- uh, Brian, tornadoes. I have another- it's possible when man is creating the tornadoes. So, Kansas, uh, you're forewarned. So, here, look at this. All right, here you have the extremely low frequencies set off down here in Southern California. And you have, as you can see, this precipitation is, there's a blockade right here. It's not moving anywhere. This is manufactured by man. They are bringing to you massive flooding. So this is now. This was earlier today. And it's you still have the, well, you had earlier, 
the extremely low frequencies shooting off and wow there's a blockade it's not moving at all not at all brought to you by man I'm going to show you another one hang on for one sec here again you have the extremely low frequencies that have been uh, emitted for now about 24 hours but once again all day long and that was these videos that I've shown you one was in the morning one in the afternoon and the one that I just showed you which is right here holding it in place with high frequency heating as you can see I'll do the sub-regional uh, sectors you can see the microwaves right here going rippling through this very obvious all of the ripples that's why I said rippling through it all of the ripples the microwaves and your um, high frequency heating your harp next rag rings and it's and these extremely low frequencies which you can see right here the defined cutouts of precipitation right here high frequency heating modulated with extremely low frequencies voila you've got cyclones earthquakes um, weather and this is not moving it's been here for well I'd say certainly 12 hours longer actually you have the extremely low frequencies being set off also in Nevada and Oregon you're getting a lot of uh, rain as well and I can't believe it but I watched them close off the Sun again today and I heard from a neighbor 30% chance of rain tomorrow and then six days of rain six days of rain extremely low frequencies set off in Spartanburg South Carolina yeah this is not fun guys it is not fun to say the least so um, you can really see the high frequency heating that is the result of your harp next rad this is the signature of the high frequency radar um, emissions the perfect circles and yes you have intersecting you've got intersecting harp next red rings with extremely low frequency signatures and it couldn't be more obvious do I have to bring up that paper that I have brought up so many times I will high power extremely low frequency radiation generated by modulated high frequency heating of the ionosphere can cause earthquake cyclones and localized heating okie dokie I will link to this below but here it is you're looking at it 
all of these signatures. So you are evacuating and expecting homes to be flooded and businesses to be flooded. Oh my God. Well, weather warfare, weather warfare. I do want to bring your attention to NASA's satellite, which hopefully it will come up. Okay. Come on. All right. This is the 20th, and I'm going to go through to the 26th because uh, they don't have the 27th yet. But Mike Morales, which is this channel right here, um, he explains what you are seeing right here. And if you go back, if you go to the site Worldview and go through the days, you will see those unusual tracks that are, well, what's going on in the Pacific. You know, when I looked at it, I thought just massive spraying of chemicals. But, um, as Mike Morales points out, you have days and days and days of these bizarre tracks. And he says they're ship tracks. You're going to have to watch Mike Morales' video, which I will show you, point out, um, well, here. Uh, leading cause of death. You can see all of the tracks right here in his, uh, you know, the, the picture of the video. Leading cause of death. I have not really, um, I would have to dig deeper into it to understand. And unfortunately, Oh, limitations. Are you experiencing limitations? I'm experiencing limitations. So, you guys, Northern California, just like so many other areas of our country, you have been deprived of an awful lot of sun. So, this is the 16th, Northern California, right on up here. Um, 17th the 18th, 19th. Wow. Lots of heavy, heavy spraying, huh? And yeah, you can see the grid patterns. Um, you can see the microwaves and I apologize for my mouse making a lot of noise. I know that it's irritating. You can see all of man's hand Look at these microwaves, which they can also use to heat up the atmosphere. Um, but, you know, you were, you're just doused with aerosols. And then you, you know, hit those aerosols with the high frequency heating and the extremely low frequencies. And you've got an awful lot of people suffering the consequences, having to evacuate. God, all of this is so... It's a war, guys. It's a war. But look at all of this. All of these... The, the laying of the aerosols, chemtrails, solar radiation management, call it whatever you want. Look at this little squared out piece um, that... Yeah, look at all the microwaves. So... It's all right there for anybody to see that none of, none of our weather is natural anymore. None of our weather is natural anymore. And how, you know, we're, we are in a war. Man is using weather as a weapon. And it is heartbreaking to see so many people literally have to suffer these consequences when I will say, 
you know, if everybody just woke up and, you know, hit the road running, um, we could get, we could, we could get this stopped. Though, they could just hit us with microwaves and kill us. The Gwen Towers, the, the power of those extremely low frequencies, they can kill literally every person within a 40 mile radius flick of a switch. That's why the Gwen Towers are so dangerous. So you see these, you know, different colors like this dirty cloud, dirty cloud. And then you have to wonder what the hell is in this. But look at all of the microwaves. You know, that I mean, Earth is now saturated in artificial electromagnetic frequencies that are disturbing all of the natural processes. So now we're at the 21st and what a mess. What an incredible mess. Um, Northern California, February 22nd, you're getting more and more of, well, that's more Washington and Oregon. Um, the 23rd, boom, you're covered. You're covered. And you're covered with a lot of toxins with a lot of dangerous frequencies, which you can see right here, rippling through all over. And the 24th, where are you? It's like someone came and dumped white paint. You can't see. 24th, 25th. It's getting thicker. The density very thick and Southern California well that's very South California um, suddenly you the cloud is just nicely cut away you know oh my god all of the microwaves and the 26th. There you go. So, you guys haven't seen any sun getting massive dumps of rain and snow. Man made. All man made. I can't stand it, guys. Well, I'll link below to everything. I really hope that everybody is safe. Um, that you don't have to suffer any, uh, you know, massive flooding of your homes, of your businesses, and no more mudslides. You guys, Northeast, I really hope that you don't have to suffer, you know, any power outages because of your Arctic cold that is coming again. And, oh, well, when it gets cold, people increase the heat, and suddenly we can no longer, well, our power companies can no longer handle it, and power outages. So I hope everybody is safe in the Northeast. And, uh, well, Alabama, state of emergency, tornadoes, Mississippi, tornadoes, flooding, uh, Georgia, and southern states, midwest, oh yeah, flooding, and God, well, I really hope everybody is okay, and do always have a plan, just in case anything should happen, look at this, 
Really? That's Mother Nature? If you think that's Mother Nature? I've got...